Good afternoon to you, Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, with a special hurricane outlook and discussion for something that is very special and different. The National Hurricane Center now issuing advisories on potential Tropical Cyclone 2. This is the first time that this has happened. Uh, it's a new feature that they will be doing this year, and here it is. And with that, a tropical storm warning has been issued now for portions of the Windward Islands. Right now, the system is located at 17.5 north, 50.4 west, moving west at 23, so pretty fast. Maximum sustained winds are 35 miles per hour, and it looks like uh, that this will go on to become a tropical storm, perhaps, uh, and they have an advisory. But notice that this is different than the advisories that we're used to. This is a potential tropical cyclone advisory instead of tropical depression number two or tropical storm Brett or what have you. We've got to get used to this, but here it is. So let's read what they say right as of 5 p.m. Eastern time. And um, we talked about the uh, winds and all the movement and everything in here. So let's look at the discussion in the 48-hour outlook. Uh, the disturbance was centered near latitude 7.5 and, and 50 roughly, moving towards the west. Uh, I guess they just basically, here it is. This is the best part. Hey, I'm reading this for the first time myself. Uh, this is the part I want to part, uh, point out the most. Shower and thunderstorm activity associated with the disturbance has become better organized since yesterday, and some additional development is possible during the next couple of days before conditions become less favorable in the Caribbean Sea. And so now we see that the chances are increased to 70%. Hazards affecting land. And this right here is really important. We talk about the impacts. There will be some wind. And I talked about this in my updates in the last few days that the GFS in particular was showing that the vorticity signature would be stronger. And I even showed you yesterday some of those 5,000 foot wind barbs. Uh, wind flags were up to 50 knots. And some of that wind could reach the surface, and so here it is, that tropical storm conditions are expected to first reach the warning area overnight Monday and then into Tuesday morning. Uh, rainfall, two to four inches, so some heavy rains inside some of those squalls, as you could imagine. This is what it looks like on a wide shot. This is the visible animation. We'll talk about this more tomorrow. This is 93L. This is 92L, which is now... Um, potential tropical cyclone number two. So you have your invest areas, and now you have the potential uh, tropical cyclone, and then I guess you go to cyclone. Now, what a world we live in. But this is good because they can issue watches and warnings for an area, and in this case for portions of the Windward Islands down here, well ahead of the system since it may or may not still develop. Uh, probably will. It should be on a, an upward trend, an upward trend now. Got to slow down here. And I want you to think about it. And those who may question, well, what is this nonsense? Well, they issue a tornado watch before there are tornadoes. Hours before. Uh, winter storm watch. Winter storm warnings before the winter storm actually takes effect and takes shape. So why not for potential development areas? We see this coming. The models are showing it. You're sort of open up the window and look outside, observations are showing it. And in this case, it's the satellite animation. Uh, and so it's helpful to be able to get people noticing it more and taking it seriously. And so I think this is a good thing. And we'll see it more often than not probably this year. So here we are, close-up satellite animation. There it is, the deep convection uh, blossoming near the circulation center. That will tighten that vorticity up even more. And this uh, has the potential to go on to become a tropical storm. Uh, unfortunately, recon is not out there right now. Hopefully it will be tomorrow, I think, flying out of St. Croix. And uh, we'll investigate this further so we can watch this overnight on satellite. Where is this headed and, and, and what would be the areas impacted? On this map, I have gone ahead and highlighted where the center of circulation is. But remember, it's a large feature. It covers an area... You know, much larger than just a dot. And if we look over here at the islands, I wanted to point this out to you so you get an idea of what's what and where's where. Uh, Barbados is first in line out here in the easternmost portion of the Lesser Antilles. Then you have Trinidad and Tobago, and then Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, all the way up to Montserrat, Guadeloupe, etc. Well, the Windward Islands down here is where this would impact the most, more than likely. It's hard to pinpoint exactly where. 
And since this is still developing, I would look at this from the perspective of what are these thunderstorms doing as this passes over my location? Uh, so don't worry about the center. Uh, is it actively convective like we see now with these deep thunderstorms? Some of those in there really popping up high into the atmosphere. So you can bet underneath something like that, you're going to likely have tropical storm conditions. Gusty winds, 40, 50 miles per hour in some cases, especially at higher elevations, and very quick bursts of heavy rain, torrential rainfall. And that all will be moving in the general direction of this area over here over the next couple of days. So it's important to keep that in mind and not worry about the center because this is not a hurricane with a well-defined eye and an eye wall where we need to try to focus on in terms of the most impact where that would track. You know, it, getting the bigger picture is the, the best way to look at this uh, and think of the cyclone, in this case the potential tropical cyclone, in the whole instead of parts. Does that make sense? Instead of worrying about where's the center or where is it going, you need to consider what it is, and it is a large weather system that could be dangerous, even if it's just a depression or a storm. Got to get away from that mindset of people discounting something because it doesn't seem as fierce to them as they would uh, normally think. Uh, and we'll talk more about that later, I'm sure, as other systems come and go. Well, we've got a lot to talk about and a lot to watch over the next few days. 93L trying to come together in the Caribbean. No real changes on that as of late, so we'll wait until tomorrow. Uh, and with that being said, that'll be it for me uh, for this evening. Thanks for tuning in, as always. I'm Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com, and you can bet I'll be back with much more for you tomorrow.